Hey guys, where's my gamer crowd? I know there's some gamers out here that wants to watch some video game stuff, and I like making video game stuff instead of like all the drama. But there's a lot of drama inside the video game industry, and I tend to cover that as of late. So I know what's going to happen here. So on X today, uh, I didn't notice until about five minutes ago uh, when I seen it. I opened up X, and Xbox decided, hey, let's throw this out. So, right here, Xbox posted, no console, no problem. Xbox Game is coming to select Amazon Fire Sticks, where you'll be able to play games directly from the Xbox app. Now, we all know that a lot of the, the uh, big console manufacturers, big gaming studios, and stuff like that, they all have their subscription services. They all have cloud um, that they're actually trying to do where you can game from the cloud. PlayStation has it, Xbox has it, Nintendo has it, the Google Stadia, the Amazon Luna, uh, NVIDIA's got it, and I'm pretty sure Steam's got it. So, a lot of these companies are experimenting with the cloud, which, in my opinion, here in the United States, I don't think that it's quite there yet. It's not quite there yet. Just like VR, like how I feel about VR is the same way I feel about uh, cloud gaming. And what I feel about VR is... It's almost there. It's almost there. It's niche. Not a lot of people are into it yet, but give it time and we'll eventually, maybe, hopefully it'll get good. But VR is getting better and better. And the same thing with cloud. Cloud is getting better and better. Um, soon, you're going to see a lot of these companies push directly to the cloud. And Xbox did call this out. And like I said, the ponies are going to be like, I see end of Xbox. There's no more consoles. When it's actually the opposite. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, well, so... Well, if, so if I buy a Amazon Fire Stick, pop it in my TV, download the Xbox app, and play my games, why do I need a console? That's the question. That's a good question. Now, me, like, I like to play video games natively on the box because I feel like, you know, it's easier, like, to do a physical media where you're right there, where you're not connecting to the Internet, hogging up the, all the bandwidth. It's nice to be able to play it, like, right there, like, locally. Um what this does is gives more people a chance to play games on their TVs or Xboxes. They don't have to go out, spend, you know, three to five hundred dollars for a new console or six hundred, seven hundred dollars for more of that two terabyte uh, edition Xbox. I think this is actually smart. This is smart. Xbox is doing something kind of big. Uh, like I said, they're actually pushing Game Pass. They spent billions of dollars on all kinds of studios uh, recently to uh, bump up game pass now like i said to me i like game pass i'm subscribed to uh game pass ultimate i'm subscribed to playstation premium i'm <laughs> i i subscribe to the nintendo network and i like it i like all that shit like i like it um i think they all offer something neat i think xbox does a little bit better honestly i think they do i think i say a lot of people do i mean the good thing about Game Pass is, you know, you get to play the exclusives like the Microsoft's first-party studio games, day one, and even some third-party games. So, like me, like, I like to try different games. Like, recently, I actually played through Still Wakes the Deep, which just came out. You know, I don't really have that much money, but I'm subscribed to Game Pass. I didn't want to go out and spend 30 or $40, but for $20 a month, here I have this big, giant... Uh, pull of games and I play through Still Wakes the Deep and it's probably one of my my favorite experiences of the year to be honest with you. Now, like I said, the the Sony ponies are probably sitting there rolling around laughing. The thing is, this is really good for Xbox. And I want to show you some of the memes so far. So Gaz, he's a big Xbox guy here. He posted this meme here. Why aren't you selling our consoles or why aren't you console so i can't fucking read no consoles required biatch it's true it's true i mean this is the thing as a consumer consumer uh you have the option to either go out and buy a 500 dollars console or the internet in your area if you got fiber or something like that you have really fast speeds and you're like man i got this tv this 80 inch samsung or i can go out and spend 50 dollars on a fucking fire stick and I can play Xbox there. Now, I'm not sure, like, what completely is on that. I don't know if you're going to be able to play. We'll see here. Let's hop on the site just to see what they got. Uh, all right. So, no games. No Play more games. No consoles. Let's see. So, 
At Xbox, we're committed to bringing the joy and community of gaming to everyone. Today, we're announcing a collaboration with Amazon where Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members in over 25 countries can play direct games directly from the Xbox app on select Fire TV devices via cloud gaming, giving people even more choices on how they play their favorite games. Now, I think this is good. Like I said, I as a gamer, I like when more people has more screens to play, I don't really care for the whole exclusives. And I understand we need exclusives to consoles and because if we didn't, there's no reason to buy the other console. Um, but I think this is actually a really good move, honestly. Especially, like I said, you spend 60 bucks, whatever, on uh, Amazon Fire Stick. You have a $20 Game Pass, a monthly subscription. You play whatever games, like some of the games. I, I think they're eventually going to allow you to... Uh, play your actual game library over the cloud. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, but right now, you're able to play some of the biggest games currently right now, especially Call of Duty's coming up soon, which I'm wonder how that's going to work, uh, Nate, on that, because Call of Duty is um, it is an online game. Uh, it's matchmaking. I wonder what the latency is going to be like that. I've, out of all the cloud services that I've tried, I've tried Amazon Luna, Google Stadia, I've tried a PlayStation uh, cloud service, I've played Xbox Cloud, and I tried one of the uh, Nintendo Switch game games that were on cloud. I think it was Resident Evil, maybe Resident Evil 7. I tried that and it really didn't work. Uh, Xbox out of all of them, they do have the better cloud infrastructure. PlayStation, I know they have the portal where you can uh, stream it that way. Um, there is some cloud stuff where you can use on a PlayStation app. I haven't used it in a long time. I did use it on my Vita uh, when I had a Vita uh, on my PS4. Um, but a lot of these uh, manuf- these uh, big companies, uh, gaming companies, are pushing hard for the cloud. They're pushing for these uh, subscription services. I mean, Ubisoft's got one. EA's got one. Uh, who else? I'm sure probably going to be Konami or some bullshit but i think it's a big thing i think it's a big deal i think this is a really good thing i don't think this is going to hurt xbox at all uh like i said if anything people are going to be like hey i can play xbox without spending 500 dollars. i can play video games right on my my tv i have really good internet so i'm just gonna play it so i mean basically like i said this is basically adding a bunch of numbers of users onto the game pass platform and i think that's been the plan all along um, I think this is something they've been wanting to do for a while. They've been slowly moving to this. So it wouldn't be a surprise in you know, the next 10 years where there's not going to be consoles and it's just going to be straight from the cloud. Um, I'm going to miss, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to miss physical consoles. There's nothing like waking up, um, going to the store when the release of your new console comes out, open up the box, you get that nice console smell. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that. It's just like I miss midnight launches. That was fun. But that's what happened today with the Xbox thing. Um, I think this is a big, big move on them. Um, I'm not shilling for Xbox, but this is smart. This is not a dumb decision. This is, uh, yeah. And I mean, if the ponies are like, it's just killing the Xbox brand. It's not killing the Xbox. If anything, it's going to add more numbers to Game Pass. Like, more people can play in Game Pass. And this, where you're going to find out where that 70 some billion dollars came from what, to <laughs> add these games to that service. Uh, so, I mean, more people can be playing Call of Duty. There's going to be more Game Pass people. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think people have the right to have more choices to more places to play their games. And they should be able to actually pick if they want to go out and spend seventy or one hundred and thirty dollars like fucking Ubisoft on their Star Wars game, or they can do a service like this. And like I said, this is going to stack up with cloud services. You know what's going to happen? Like it's happened with TV. Like we have fifty fucking subscription services: Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Peacock, Paramount, probably Pornhub. It's all, <laughs> it all exists. But like I said, this is not, this is not hurting Xbox. If anything, it's going to make the brand even better. If, 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 I'm just saying if people decide to do this. And I think this is a really good chance that this will improve Game Pass uh, subscriptions. So if, if there's more money to be made from this, if there's more subscriptions, that means there's going to be more games. Um, that's more money that can go to funding games. Maybe that will help without maybe not having to shut so many fucking studios down but you know that's just what i feel about it all right guys i'll see you soon